Hopefully I have enough battery for me to show you guys this. This is what my friend and I were working on today. Um, here's the stock engine. An old, smoky, and tired 75 Briggs 5 horse. Then you put this 1991, I think, Craftsman overhead valve to come see 12 horse motor. I'm not a fan of Tecumseh, but it's, I have this motor laying around. It's still round good. It just didn't like its starters, so it would always eat them up. Uh, what there, I got the exhaust on. What there is left to do yet is make some kind of a pull start. I think I'm going to remove the shroud and uh, cut away the screening or maybe just take it all out. And I saw on YouTube somewhere there was like a shaft shaft extension and then like a four inch pulley or something with a notch in it so you can wrap the rope around and pull it. Uh, I don't, excuse me, I don't have a sh spare shroud to put on but unless I can mount something like this on there. This is a three and a half horse Briggs um, push mower pull start. It uses the same design as a electric start. kind of has like a bandex drive. And that's supposed to grip the flywheel, which has teeth on it. But then I'd probably have to cut at the shroud, which I really don't care about. Or make the other stuff. I'm hoping I can work out something. Then I still have to get uh, this pulley on. It looks the same in the inside as the Briggs that was on there. If not, we'll have to remove the one that was on the Briggs. And make a throttle I had it on here I had a video of it but I never made it like a, a thumb throttle like the racers have and then I'll have to connect it to here the butterfly I'll have to run it all the way back it doesn't really bother me and then somehow hook up choke unless I could just hold it but that's what I was working on today it's been a rainy day Usually rainy days in the garage are the best days because, you know, you just find stuff to do. I'm not going to make this into a speedy race tractor. The frame is not strong enough. Well, the frame is, but the steering really is, and it's not, it's just cheap stuff. It wouldn't really last unless I was just going down a road. No ditch or anything. It'll be a snow, or er, winter tractor, mud tractor. A while ago I made this uh, snow plow. It's nothing much out of wood. And that bolts on using a door hinge to the front of the chassis. And this and one of those clicket straps that you like tie snowmobiles and stuff in the back of your truck was the lifter. So it was good, it would lift it and you drive, but traction was a big problem. I might set that up to do that again this year, now that the motor's heavier, and I, I have, I'm going to have to make a little wheelie bar on here, just a couple pieces of metal out, hopefully something like my uh, Chinese shipping frame metal, but uh, that's about it.